Welcome once again to another edition of Music and Meditation with Pastor Fred and Sharon Moore. And thank you, Sharon, for that beautiful rendition of Be Still, My Soul. Listen to these words of Scripture from Isaiah, the 41st chapter, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. First John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made in perfect love. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. What is it that makes us fear? What do we fear? Well, we fear the unknown of tomorrow. We fear the threat of immediate or possible harm. We fear the darkness, heights, snakes, rodents, and spiders. We fear death and dying. We fear the unknown. We fear separation from loved ones. We, we fear pain, physical and emotional. We fear rejection. We fear humiliation. We fear disappointment. We may have a fear of flying, a fear of public speaking, a fear of heights, and we have a fear of failure, and we all fear death. Everyone can get scared. Fear is an unavoidable facet of the human experience. People generally consider fear as an unpleasant emotion, but some go out of their way to trigger it such as jumping out of planes and watching scary movies. We like the fun of fear. Fear is justifiable, for instance, though, hearing footsteps inside your house when you know you're the only one there. That's a valid reason to be terrified, to have fear. And it does make sense to be a little jumpy if you're an animal in a hostile environment. It's better to run and hide when your own shadow catches you by surprise than to presume that the shadow is safe. F-E-A-R has two meanings. Forget everything and run, or face everything and rise. Choice is yours. The choice is ours. Satan wants us to live in fear. One thing that Satan wants us to do to believers is to cause us to live in fear. Even if nothing in our lives warrants fear, Satan will send confusion and discouraging thoughts. We can have a secure job and Satan will send fear, cause us to think, what if I get fired? Sometimes Satan will say things like, God will cause us to lose our job just to test us. Hmm. God is in control of our lives. It may be easier said than done, but if God is in control, we do not have to worry about a thing. There's nothing that goes on in our lives that he doesn't know about. We just have to be still and get to know who he is and to put our confidence back in him. What did Isaiah say? Fear not. For I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. All these thoughts that run through our minds can overwhelm us. It is going to get to a point where God is going to ask us, well, are you going to trust me or your future? You're going to trust me with your future. God told Abraham to get up and go to the land I will show you. 
Imagine the thoughts running through the head of Abraham at that time. If I were in that situation, my palms would be sweaty, my heart would be pounding, I would think, how will I eat? How will I feed my family? How am I going to get there? What is the correct route? What does it look like there? What can I do next? Where will I find work? There would be a spirit of fear. God has been so faithful to us through the years, Sharon and I. Time and time again, we see God's hand at work, and we are amazed. Sometimes, though, God is going to lead us out of our comfort zones to accomplish his will. He is going to glorify his name. He is going to do it through us. God says, all we have to do is trust and everything else will be taken care of. We must not be anxious. We must not trust our fears. Isaiah said, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Oh, little boys. I was one once. Yes, I was a little boy. And I thought I wasn't afraid of anything. When I was four years old, I walked a mile to school on a country road. And the last part of that route, I had to climb a fence over a cemetery. Well, that was my shortcut. I was four years old, and I was fearless. <laughs> Until I went with my dad to check on the new chicks in the garage. He turned on the light, and the rats scattered everywhere, many with chicks in their mouths. I, I was petrified. I didn't know any scripture yet, so I just grabbed my father's hand, and then the fear started to disappear. When we fear. All we need to do is grab on to the Father's hand, our Heavenly Father. Yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the hand of my righteousness. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this. We thank you that you are there for us. You say, Fear thou not. And we shall not be afraid. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us pray that prayer together that Jesus taught us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now, till we meet again, God be with you, and God bless you. Amen.